MaxView Storage Manager is a browser-based software application that helps you build a storage space for your data. Using Adaptech RAID controllers, disk drives, solid-state drives or SSDs, and enclosures. In this video, you will see how to use rapid fault isolation to identify an error, find its source, and review the error information. Failures in storage adapters or its attached devices can impact data center uptimes. To address such issues, MaxView Storage Manager provides an intuitive debugging feature called Rapid Fault Isolation. It allows you to quickly detect the errors, isolate the source, fetch error information, and eventually fix it. Let's get started by logging into MaxView Storage Manager. After the Enterprise View opens, if you see an error sign in the server, it signifies there is a failed or failing component, whereas a green sign indicates the device is healthy with no issues. To identify the source of error, expand the tree. Look for the error icons, then continue tracing the problem to its source. In this case, you need to expand the Arrays and Logical Devices tree node to detect the error. Look for the tab with the error icon. In this case, the Summary tab shows an error. Review the properties to identify the error. Here, the property Status shows an error. Hover your cursor over the error icon to view the error information. Here, the error information says there is a failed physical device. Go to the Resources tab to view the physical device or devices affected by the error. Click on the blue arrow corresponding to the affected physical device to navigate to that node in the tree. The Summary tab of the selected physical device opens. Review the tabs and properties for the error icon. In this case, the property State shows an error. Hover your cursor over the error icon to review the error information. If you want more information about the error, you can also review the Last Known Reason for Failure to find the exact reason why the device failed. In this case, the device is hot removed. You can fix this issue by replacing or reinserting the device and performing Force Online. In our next video, you'll see how to perform Force Online. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on our storage solutions, visit our Smart Storage website at microchip.com smartstorage.